Hi everyone, this is the telltale sign of an old graph that was made in this mango tree. The mother tree or the tree that took the graph was a white piri variety and the graph that was put onto this tree was the mapulehu. So the tree's trunk is this direction and here's the graft and here's the grafted variety or the mapulehu. Well I don't want this grafted variety on this tree in this location anymore so I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to cut off here before the graft but before I do I'm going to make a cut right inside of the old graft location and this was done with the whipped graft method and let's look swing over to the top and see if you can see the diagonal splice that was made which is right here and so I'm going to cut it off uh, with one cut right inside of the graft line and then here to make sure I totally remove the graft and once I get it cut let's take it down off of this ladder and check out what we have. Well I just cut through the middle of this old whip graft. I used the whip graft method which is basically two opposing diagonal cuts on both the accepting branch and the scion. For example the whip graft method involves making two diagonal cuts as one fits together the accepting branch and scion to align the cambium layers to grow together. And that cut went in this direction. So I made my cut this way. So I intersected uh, the old graft splice and that's why you see this black line here where the wood is discontinuous. On this side of the black line is the wood from the accepting branch and on this side of the black line is the wood from the scion. And all this wood from here to here all around is where new wood was deposited and that you know being that the graph took it is continuous so this branch which is this much you know bulk of wood minus just a little bit of discontinuity in the middle is basically as strong as any of these other branches like say here or here in this tree that wasn't grafted well I'm gonna go ahead and remove this rest of this Mapulehu variety which is just this little piece here and I'm going to remove the branch beyond where it's here to make sure that all of this grafted material is off of this tree. There now it's totally removed. Now that we have everything at ground level we can better examine this. We can see that that discontinuous wood from the original graft is visible here and also on the other side of the first cut there and again all the wood that's from that middle part of the diameter all the way out to the bark is all the wood that grew in a connected fashion as this branch enlarged over the next few years. If we put the two ends of the first saw cut back together again we can still see the faint diagonal mark across the bark that indicates the joining between the receiving trees white piri's branch and what remains of the old scion or what grew from the old scion of the mapulehu branch and the length of the discontinuous wood within should only be as long as the graph. So therefore, using this example, a distance of about from here to here, which corresponds to a distance of about here to here. 
that's it. Well, I hope this explains how a graph such as this can grow into a branch such as this given a few years. Thanks for watching.